Hey guys, even here, so there is something interesting that happened at the New York Pro that I wanted to talk to you about and I don't know how many of you actually noticed this because not a lot of people are talking about it and I think it was basically the, the, the last nail in the coffin of Justin Rodriguez at the New York Pro. A look at this back lat spread right here. It's a world class lat spread, it's one of the best in the world right now. So thick, uh, the lats are really low, the traps are prominent everything everything is just good like he's wide as hell and the waist looks small the only thing that i don't really like is the hamstrings they are not exactly super visible right but other than that the back itself and the glutes and just the flow of this whole pose it looks good and it was the best on that stage you can argue that nick had a better one because he had better hamstrings way better hamstrings but uh, you will see it you will see a comparison in a moment but I personally found this last spread to be the most impressive one on a stage. However, I did not see it at the pre-judging comparison round. So, watch this. Justin versus Nick. I think Nick was a clear winner of this show, but uh, here in the back double bicep and the back lat spread, I mean, it was very close. Back double bicep, I give it to, I give it to Justin. Yeah, Nick has better legs, better hamstrings, but uh, I mean, just the back itself of Justin is just so amazing. Uh, that back double bicep, one of the best in the world right now, if you ask me. Uh, the back looks crazy. Back lat spread, it should have been even better, but this is what we got from Justin Rodriguez. Now, yeah, again, take a look at the legs. Sure, Nick is better in that area. He does have... Um, he does have better hamstrings for sure and his conditioning is a little bit tighter but the back of nick it's a fine back it's a wide back it's a pretty thick back but he also said it after the show that he's gonna be focused on the back the most he's training it three times a week right now because he knows he needs to improve it and it was visible on the stage justin exposed it because justin has an amazing back and uh, nick's back didn't look that good next to justin but not in this pose I'm laughing, I probably shouldn't be laughing, I don't know what is the actual reason of this happening, but I found it really odd. What is the real reason why this happened? There are a couple of possible outcomes. The first one, the first that came to my mind when I was watching this live, was that he thought this looks better. That he thought in the moment, maybe this is gonna make me look better, maybe he practiced it in the backstage, somebody told him that it looks thicker like this. I mean, that's the first thing that came to my mind, very briefly, but very, very soon after I realized that doesn't really make a lot of sense, who would have told him that this looks better? Nobody, really. Unless somebody was playing games with him, maybe like uh, Nick told him, <laughs> or like Matt Jensen, or something like that, but I don't think he would listen to them, so I don't think that's the case. Uh, the other theory is that some kind of electrolyte disbalance happened, something with uh, sodium and potassium, and that he just couldn't connect with the lads, he just couldn't feel them, uh, his scapulas, rather, he couldn't connect with the scapulas properly and he couldn't spread his back, his, his lats, he just couldn't do it for some reason, he probably tried it, he just couldn't do it, I guess that's the most reasonable explanation, other than that, I don't have any other theories, if you guys have any, tell me, but it's very interesting that he actually did that later on in the finals, so this was the finals, and he did it, look at it, I mean, this is how you do it. <laughs> Here he clearly wins. This shot, he absolutely destroys it. So, Hassan probably has better back lat spread than Nick, but he's not in shape. So, of course, Nick is destroying him in this one. And uh, Justin has good conditioning. Maybe he's not as sharp as Nick to the lower body, but with this kind of back, I think he, he definitely beats Nick. I mean, the last time I said he destroys him, and a lot of people disagree with that. They said it was much closer than I put it, but a lot of people didn't say anything, so it could have been a, a vocal minority, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a matter of opinion. Me, personally, I do find this back lat spread of Justin the most dominant here by far. By far, I think it's much better than X. And I am not saying that if he did this properly, the prejudging, that he would have won the show. No, I don't think that. I think Nick would have won the show anyways, because he had so much... Uh, so much else, but it could have been the last nail in Justin's coffin, so maybe some judges weren't sure who's gonna win it, but when they saw this, I mean, they expected Justin to beat Nick in the back shots, because he does have much better back, yeah, Nick has hamstrings and better conditioning, a tiny bit better conditioning, but it's still a back shot, like, it's a back lat spread, back double bicep, it's not the back hamstrings and glutes, right, or back conditioning, <laughs> I mean, conditioning always matters for sure, but it's about the back development, um, presented through 
very thin skin, so of course you need to be conditioned, and these guys are both conditioned, for sure, maybe, like, you can, you can need to pick it, uh, and say, like, Nick is 2%, 1% leaner, but it doesn't really matter, like, he is in shape, I mean, both of them are in shape, Hassan, not in shape, these two guys are both in shape, so it was very close as far as conditioning, but as far as the back development, yeah, yeah, Justin was way better, if you ask me. However, he wasn't able to show it, to present it to us and to the judges during the pre-judging when it actually matters the most. But he fixed that later in the finals, so was it the decision? Did he think that looked better, which I highly doubt? Or he had electrolyte disbalance, maybe like after prejudging he had some salt and uh, finally he got electrolyte so he could connect his brain to the muscles, so he could connect to the scapulas and actually spread those lats and show it to us that he had the best back lat spread in this show. But at the prejudging, this happened, we had to watch this. I'm curious what do you guys think because I haven't really seen any comments or anybody talking about this. I honestly don't know, I want to hear your thoughts. So, am I right with my assumptions? Do you have any new theories? Am I wrong? Whatever, whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. I just sent a message to Justin asking him what the hell happened. He didn't see the message yet, I only sent it uh, like 10 minutes ago, so maybe he will uh, respond. If he does, uh, if he explains it, I will leave a comment down below and I will pin it so you can see what is the answer. But before that happens, or even if it never happens, you guys tell me. What do you think? Let's let's find out, because it was very interesting that happened at the New York Pro and nobody talked about it. So it could be electrolyte disbalance or just a poor decision making. Whatever you think, tell me down below, like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel guys. All the best and bye bye.